I'm late for an appointment, but I need to do my review for the week. So why don't you join me? I'm in my car. Yeah. Today I'm reviewing the 1994 classic, The Chase, starring Charlie Sheen and Christy Swanson. Why don't you come with me? Um, might be Russian driving, but who cares? Let's do this review. Charlie Sheen plays an escaped convict and he's at this liquor store and there's these cops that come in. He actually hears on the cops' radios that they're talking about him and that they're looking for him. He gets paranoid, grabs a butterfinger, and takes Christy Swanson hostage. And they go into her beautiful BMW, which actually is the same model that I'm driving right now. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, trying to drive. Anyways, he takes her hostage and then of course, Everyone starts to chase after him, hence the movie's name, Chase. And god damn, this is one cool chase movie. Literally, the movie lives up to its title. Pretty much in one setting, and it is one big freaking chase. So all the police forces after him. And there's these two cops that were doing this ride-along with these uh, news reporters, and they're kind of interviewing them, and then gradually, they get called on to the chase, too. And one of them is played by Henry Rollins, and the other is played by this guy. These guys are hilarious, and it's so funny because they're literally following our main characters throughout the whole movie. I love Henry Rollins in this, he really steals the show. He's great. Hold on. Oh, <laughs> that was a crazy, whoa, that was a crazy turn. Sorry. I, I'm not going to miss this appointment. I am almost there. Hold on. So, of course, the news media, once they find out about this chase, they're on top of it, too. And it, terror on the highway, you know. It, it's really funny. Of course, they always cut away to the car chases nowadays. And this was kind of a precursor. And also, this movie came out, um, hold on. <clears throat> This movie came out in March of uh, 1994. This was actually three months before the infamous OJ uh, Bronco chase, right? Oh, I am just saying, if you go to the gym two more days a week, you'll be pumped like me. That's all. What's the reading? 85 miles in a 30 yes. zone. Let's get this guy. Is he now on the step? cops are for me. No, that can't be for me. I... This movie has such a fast-paced kinetic energy. Like, it's just constantly going. And I love that. I love that you're just constantly on the road. And yes, we cut back to, like, news reports and the cops, etc. But it just has this great motion that you just feel like you're constantly driving. And I love it. I love that feeling. Damn, I feel like I'm getting off on this review. This guy really doesn't want to stop for us, huh? We got a high speed chase going on here. Let's do it. Let's do it. It's gonna get me so pumped. I pumped for this chase. Yes! So of course the cops are constantly behind them. The news media is now following them. They can't escape and they're just, Charlie Sheen's just gonna to go to Mexico. That's his plan. Of course, as they're driving, you know, he starts to get to know Chrissy Swanson's character. And of course there's a little bit of connection and gradually and gradually they start getting an actual connection. She starts to like fall in love with him. Actually, one of my favorite scenes is actually the sex scene where they do it in the car. There's this 90s song by this band. It's actually a really cool song. I like it. I, I can't play it for copyright reasons, uh, but it's actually a kind of a cool sex scene. I, I, I dug it. And of course, then they have to get to Mexico. Will they make it? What happens between them? I'm not gonna ruin that for you. I had a great time rewatching this. I mean, just the, the energy of this movie is just incredible. Oh shoot, let me put my hands on the wheel again, sorry. Think you can run from us? You can't, buddy. You can't. Charlie Sheen's really good in this. Uh, this was a time when Charlie Sheen was just busting up movies like crazy. Like, look at how many movies he made at this time. He, he was. This was before the two and a half men phase and the uh, Tiger I'm Winning phase. Like Adam Rifkin, who ended up doing Detroit Rock City later on. He, he did a great job. The, the just the pace, the energy of this movie is so cool. You know, I, I, I love it. Um, overall, I'll give the chase five out of five. Red BMW. It, it, it's that good. I'm almost to the place. All right. Yes, I'm there. Anyways, uh, subscribe and like to the channel and... Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, what's that? Freeze. My name is Chris Strong with the LAPD. I got so into that review, I didn't realize I was driving that fast. Now get out of that car with your hands up. Don't try anything silly. Uh, anyway, subscribe and like to the channel. I guess I gotta...
I guess I'm not gonna make my appointment. That car with your hands up. Uh, I'm coming, I'm coming. Check out the chase and don't drive like I have. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> now I gotta deal with these guys. By the way, good review of the chase.